by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow, gonna mulch it deep and low, gonna make it fertile ground, inch by inch, row. Cut it, cut it more. One more. One more. Yay! Yay! Oh. Welcome back to the garden. Um, it's been a really long summer. We started with a bare plot of land. It was just literally a grassy field on a slope behind DZ's house. <laughs> and over the course of eight weeks, I guess, we carved out our beds, we filled them up with soil, we built the wooden beds around them. So a lot is really, I've learned a lot about gardening. I've learned a lot <laughs> about this garden and Oregon weather, which is yeah, temperamental. <laughs> um, and I've had a really great time working with all the kids in the program, you know, either in gardening groups or skill builders. We've had a lot of fun. It's been a really good experience. Tammy? Um, it's my second year working with the program and I absolutely loved being able to see the garden grow up from, like Justin said, a plot of grass and to know that our labor and our work um, was used to build such a gorgeous garden just really makes me excited to see what will come from the next years here. Thanks to all the kids who hauled dirt, who moved wooden beds who planted plants with us, who helped water, who helped prune, who helped weed, you know, all of the things that need to go into making this garden what it is, which is a really great foundation. Also, thanks to everyone who helped with compost, because the compost pile is it's awesome. pretty amazing, and we'll be able to use that for our garden next, next summer. Next year. So one of the big inspirations behind this garden was Israel, the way in which Israel grew a country out of the desert, the way in which Israel has started um, to do great with farming, has been successful with um, all sorts of new technologies to help uh, get the desert into a blooming, flourishing land. And that was our inspiration behind why um, we felt that we could implement Israel in the garden. Um, it's, it's such a wonderful concept that we built this garden just like Tammy and Justin said out of nothing it was a field and now we've got vegetables growing here we had radishes we've got lettuce it's an incredible thing to see in just eight weeks how we've taken a symbolic desert just like Israel and turned it into a, a flourishing garden um, with beds and we've even got plans for the future um, so Tamar and Sammy are going to talk about those. And so basically we also shaped it around Israel by using drip irrigation, or in the future using drip irrigation. Um, as some people know, Israel struggled with water shortages since the 1950s. And um, we plan to implement drip, implement drip irrigation to also um, conserve water and do that for Israel. Gardening is such an important part of Israel. It's a way, the early kibbutzim used it as a way to build a community. And it was a way for them to have a revolution against the old lifestyle of Jews in Europe. And it was, everybody worked together and just like in BB camp, everybody worked together to build something and it created a big sense of community with them and the connection, the connection to the land. That it's not, BB camp can't just be ever, anywhere now, you know, there's, there's a connection to the land that it's on. This pretty planet spinning through space Your garden, your harbor, your holy place Golden sun going down Gentle blue giant spin us around All through the night Safe till the morning light 